so we have these two equations to solve for x now observe that the equations have a square root sign in them so we need a way of transforming these equations in such a way that we can easily deal with the square root sign let's begin with this first one we have that x minus 3 times the square root of x is equal to minus 2. Let x be equal to u squared. If we do this substitution, we'll be able to take away or remove this square root sign. So, let x be equal to u squared if we said u equals to u squared this implies that this equation will become u squared minus 3 times the square root of u squared is equal to minus 2 this implies u squared minus 3 times the square root of u squared is u is equal to minus 2 and so this implies we add 2 to both sides of the equation this will give us u squared minus 3u plus 2 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation which we can easily solve by factorization and if we factor this equation we'll have that u minus 1 times u minus 2 is equal to 0 and so we set the factors individually to 0 we'll have that u minus 1 equals 0 or u minus 2 is equal to 0 for this one we add 1 to both sides of the equation to have u equals 1 and here we add 2 to both sides of the equation to have u equals 2 now we have two values of u but we set out to look for x so we made a substitution that x is equal to u squared so if u equals 1 then x is equal to 1 squared and this is equal to 1 that's the first value of x if u is equal to 2 then x is equal to 2 squared which is equal to 4 so we have two values of x 1 and 4 we need to test okay for these two values to see if the two values are actually valid solutions to the original equation it's always good to test that because sometimes you have extraneous values after you have made a substitution such as the one we have done here so we test that so for x equal to 1 we will have that the original equation will give us 1 minus 3 times the square root of 1 is that equal to minus 2 so we have 1 minus 3 times the square root of 1 which is 1 is that equal to minus 2 so 1 minus 3 is it equal to minus 2 and we have 1 minus 3 is minus 2 and that is equal to minus 2 therefore x equals 1 
is a valid solution let's test x equals 4 so for x equals 4 we will have that 4 minus 3 times the square root of 4 equals minus 2 so is that equal to that let's see so we have 4 minus 3 times the square root of 4 which is 2 is that equal to negative 2 so we have 4 minus 3 times 2 which is 6 is that equal to negative 2 4 minus 6 is minus 2 and that is equal to minus 2 therefore for our uh, x is equal to 4 is also a valid solution so the two solutions are valid okay let us look at the next one all right the next equation is x plus 2 times the square root of x is equal to 8 again we make the substitution let x be equal to u squared this implies that u squared plus 2 times the square root of u squared is equal to 8. This implies u squared plus 2 times the square root of u squared, which is u, is equal to 8. And this implies u squared plus 2u minus 8 is equal to 0. This again gives us a quadratic equation which we can solve by factorization. And the two factors we have is u minus 2 times u plus 4 those are the two factors and this will be equal to 0 so we set u minus 2 equals 0 or u plus 4 equals 0 and this will give us we add 2 to both sides we have u equals 2 or u we subtract 4 from both sides so we have u equals minus 4 okay so we set x equals u squared so if u equals the two values of u that we have are 2 and minus 4 so if u is equal to 2 then x is equal to 2 squared which is equal to 4 if u is equal to minus 4 x is equal to minus 4 squared and this is equal to 16 so we need to test to see if these two values x equals 4 and x equals 16 satisfy the original equation so for uh, u equals 4 we will have the original equation giving us 4 plus 2 times the square root of 
4 is that equal to 8 this is 4 plus 2 times the square root of 4 which is 2 and this is equal to 8 so x equals 4 is a valid solution let's test for x equals 16 for x equals 16 we will have the original equation being giving us 16 plus 2 times the square root of 16 is that equal to 8 so we have that 16 plus 2 times the square root of 16 which is 4 is that equal to 8 clearly we see that 16 plus 8 is not equal to 8 and therefore x equals 16 is not a valid solution okay thank you if you did enjoy this video please do well to like it share so that other people can get to our channel and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so that each time we post a video you will be notified immediately thank you